today I got the chance to meet with Galileo. Here's the video of me interviewing Galileo. Hi, Galileo. Hi. I have some questions for you today. Okay, let's get started. Well, my first question is, where were you born? I was born uh, February 15, 1564 in Pisa. Where's Pisa? Pisa is a small town in northern Italy. Is that where you started your strange obsession with the universe? I have always been interested in learning about the unknown. While I was studying, the uni uh, studying at the University of Pisa, I proved Aristotle's law of nature theory wrong by dropping differently weighted balls uh, of the, off the Tower of Pisa. Why do you believe in heliocentrism? It is, in fact. I have proven heliocentrism with my 30 times telescope that, that the Earth rotates around the Sun with other planets. And therefore, the Sun is the center of the galaxy, not the Earth. Interesting. Have you made any other discoveries with your 30 times telescope? Yes. Um, yes, a matter of fact. I have made a couple. A, co a couple. For instance, I have discovered many uh, craters on the moon. I have also discovered many star stars. And I, best of all, I've discovered some of Jupiter's moons. I, okay. <laughs> I saw the surface of the moon, and it is quite rough and uneven. It has craters, mountains, and valleys. I also saw spots on the sun and Saturn's rings. Four moons orbited around Saturn. I saw the evidence I needed to prove my theory of heliocentrism. How strange. The moon appears to be quite smooth without a telescope. What did you do after you used a study in Santa Mara de Valambrosa? In 1587, when I was 17, I went to the University of Pisa uh, to study medicine. I became interested in mathematics and studied that instead of medicine. Why did you decide to take medicine? I didn't want to take medicine. My father made me, uh, made that decision for me. Uh, he was completely shocked when I went to mathematics. Did you shock your father in any other ways? One time I told him I wanted to become a, a monk and he was very shocked. Well, that is all we have the time we have for today. Good luck with your research and convincing the church of the importance of your work. Thank you. Bye.